So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Srikant, who have recently got a job as a data analyst and most importantly as a fresher. We will discuss about his resume, his projects, his portfolio, everything which helped him to get this success. So, so this video will be very important. So watch this video completely till the end. All right, let's start the video. And before that, if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe the channel for more useful videos like this. And also you can follow my Instagram page, Learn with Gigs for short videos on data analytics related content. And friends, do congratulate him in the comment box as he deserves the appreciation for the hard work that he has shown. And please do hit the like button of this video as it will really motivate me to create more useful videos like this for you all. Hi Srikanth, how are you? Yeah, fine Sajan, how are you? I'm also fine. So Srikanth, I've already given a short introduction to the audience. So first of all, thank you so much for giving your time. And since I have given the introduction, let's start with the first question. So basically, let's sure. start with your educational background. So can you give some background of that? Yeah, sure. Actually, originally I'm from a small village in Andhra Pradesh. I completed my schooling from start to 1 to 10 in a government school. And for my second plus two, I took CEC uh, in a local college. I completed uh, uh, plus two and uh, my degree in the same college. Like in batch, I took uh, BCom in the same college and I completed my graduation in uh, 2022. So your highest uh, degree is BCom and you have passed in 2022. 2022. Like how did you decide that you have to go for data analytics domain and target the data analyst roles? Yeah, honestly, I had no initial idea about the uh, tech world software or the level of competition going on in the field. Uh, actually, I started blindly searching on the Google. Like uh, as I was uh, done in non-technical background, I search uh, I search like uh, non-coding jobs, and Google it suggested me a few courses like uh, DevOps, data analyst, and uh, a business analyst like that. And so after a few search, um, I chose data analyst. So you just researched from Google and YouTube, and then you decided that yeah. let's target the data analyst yeah. roles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how did you learn the data analyst related skills, which includes like Excel, SQL or Power BI? So after uh, deciding the designation as data analyst, I found an institution uh, in Mumbai. So in the same way I searched on the Google, I found this institution. And after deciding to join the institution, uh, I joined in the same uh, data analyst course in Mumbai. And uh, when I joined the classes, uh, what, was the, uh, what was the fees of Actually, that institute which you joined? Uh, initially, this, uh, when I searched, they uh, told me like 2.2 lakh. So if you write an exam, we will give you scholarship and they say like, oh, we'll give 14% scholarship on that. So I wrote an exam, I got some 74%. So they, after uh, some negotiation, um, they gave me for 1.8 lakh. So when I uh, joined- So the Mumbai, fees, uh, as a, fees was 1.8 lakhs after you gave some exam. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And like uh, I already paid advances uh, 10K. Uh, remaining balance, uh, I paid in on EMI by, by monthly basis. Okay. So after I joined the first day, uh, the already started. So already started and they completed Excel and I started uh, skill and they're in advanced level. So I got scared uh, by the long lines of course and especially since I had been a non-coding, I uh, chose non-coding course while I was choosing in the earliest list. So I had already paid in credit. So I decided to, uh, I discussed about the manager. So I already non-coding back and if I start in, mid, in the middle of the course, so I may be uh, uh, confused. So I thought of uh, changing this course to Bangalore. So later on the day, on the next day, I uh, returned back to Bangalore. So again, I here I joined. Uh, after they gave me date, uh, they were one month. After a month, one here I joined in the same street. So I transferred that money to here Bangalore. So you switched your uh, location only from Mumbai to Bangalore, and you started yeah. doing the course from that same institute, but from Bangalore location. Mm -hmm. This time they taught everything from scratch to Excel. Uh, actually, it is not, not a data analytics course, uh, it's a data science course. So after joining, they gave me a curriculum, like uh, they included all the Excel, SQL, uh, machine learning, deep learning, Python. So uh, earlier I struggled a little bit regarding communication and uh, maths and statistics. So later on, I gradually uh, learned all the things. However, over time, I learned everything what it required for data analyst. So how many months you gave for the learning? Actually, they have given six months. The course uh, duration was six months. So it took almost eight months. So uh, Shrikant, from your experience, uh, is it worth to invest 1.8 lakhs rupees uh, for a data science course or a data analytics course? Uh, what is your thought on this? Like, what is your experience? As of my experience, I would not recommend uh, for anybody. Uh, if you are coming for a, like from a technical background, you would have already studied all the technical skills. You don't need this much, uh, like spending all this much. 
so i don't recommend uh, it's better to learn in a small college like there are many courses are there in udemy and other courses are like in youtube it is a better option i would say yeah so it's a it's a good learning for the audience uh, who are willing to take any kind of uh, course from any particular institute so if you have to if they are asking for this much of uh, money so don't expend the, don't invest this much of money as you can hear from shrikant's experience it's not worth to expend to expend this much of money there and also i they didn't give much uh, placements also so there we got disappointed like paying this much money and not giving much uh, placement okay so they assured you placements also but you didn't get any kind of placement yeah. okay so what happened after those 8 months like what did you do after that so after 8 months i started applying on linkedin and now career and so i was also applying all the roles like business analyst data analyst and data analyst and only i received a call from an hr uh, regarding a business analyst intern position i had uh, applied for the the scheduled interview uh, which consisted of three rounds and uh, one assignment after a few weeks they informed me like that i had been selected for a data analyst role uh, they gave me assignment like four week so actually they uh, wanted to hire me as business analyst so after giving me that assignment uh, i had done some dashboarding for week so they have decided to hire me as a data analyst intern mm, so you were you worked there as a data analyst intern right yeah i worked there for almost 5 months uh, gaining valuable experience and unfortunately due to some uh, internal company issues the company had to shut down so, so the company got, got to... shut down completely yeah so did you get your uh, experience letter from that company as an yeah, intern yeah. i got yeah. yeah i got so since that company in which you were doing as an intern position it got shut down and somehow you got the internship letter so that is fine that was good for you now after that what did you do because i think it happened suddenly right so what hap- what did you do eventually after uh, this thing happened uh, i prepared again like uh, uh, as i was working only on power bi dashboards so i didn't have much experience on like sql python and all. so again i started from scratch like uh, excel sql python power bi so i prepared everything so again i started applying in online lane yeah. okay now n- now let's talk about your resume how did you craft your resume which eventually helped you to get the interview call? so can you share the screen if possible and show the resume to sure. the audience yeah sure let me share my screen so this is the resume i got almost 83% ad score um, here i have given all the uh, linkedin profile and github profile where i was uh, committing all the projects into github and all these i have added the uh, experience and uh, doing my uh, the previous company as intern so okay this is the total uh, total uh, i have included uh, two power bi projects and one machine learning and python project and here okay. are certificates in that uh, very few uh, certificates like uh, courses i have done during the uh, my learning learning um, yeah okay yeah you said that you have uh, put your projects on github right so can you show the audience how you have designed your uh, projects like uh, what all things you have included there can you show that yeah sure okay this is my github profile uh, where i have uh, committed all the p- projects uh, i have done during my learning and here i have done almost five projects in power bi and um, i have three projects in machine learning and python and this uh, kp uh, kpmg uh, there's uh, there was a virtual internship uh, mm-hmm. there was going on so i have done that because yeah. this github and linkedin it helped me a lot uh, during my job search as i was uh, uh, showing all the projects on github and uh, posting daily on linkedin Uh, okay can you the linkedin profile yeah 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 that's what i was trying to say can you also show your linkedin profile this is my linkedin profile i am given all the required things like my professional pic and background banner and i given all the bio like uh, what all the skills and profession thing and below i have given my pro- portfolio website mm, after that so this is my about section uh, in the about section i have summarized that uh, all the things that i know uh, that, uh, that i learned during my course and during those uh, two months and also i included my top skill set here yeah so it's important for the audience to know that uh, in the about section you don't have to write long paragraphs your points should be some in a summarized way the, just the way uh, shrikant has written so yeah thanks for sharing that uh, yeah you can go ahead yeah so sure. here i have a few projects i have featured in this yeah so it's also important to show your projects in the featured section because if any recruiter comes to your profile so they can see your pro- profile they can see your projects directly whatever you have done right so they can go through those projects so that's good that also good a good thing that you have done on your linkedin profile yeah here in the experience section i have added my previous company where i have done my internship as a data analyst and uh, here i have added what type of projects i have done during the internship mm, next comes my certifications uh, here i had all the certificates i have done during my learning and next comes my skills section where i have added all the skills that i have 
expertise mm-hmm. so uh, so shrikant uh, how you were able to get that interview call in which in, in the company in which you are working right now so while i was applying for jobs uh, during those two months uh, one day i got a call from my previous internship manager so he was stating that uh, if you are still looking for jobs uh, i have uh, uh, i will refer to a company Uh, where they are hiring for a data analytics domain, so you can give it a try. So I said okay. Uh, since the, the resume was fully ATS friendly, and they got impressed by the uh, resume, and also the portfolio was uploaded, and they got impressed by seeing the portfolio on my resume. So after a few days, they uh, scheduled an inter- uh, scheduled an interview. So what happened in the interview? Like what all skills were targeted in the interview? So during the interview, they asked me uh, like basic questions about SQL and uh, Power BI API. So since you belong to a BCom profile, right? So uh, is the salary structure low for the people coming from BCom degree, or is it similar to what a person with a BTech background gets? Oh, it doesn't depend on the uh, what you study in you like in your bachelor's. It depends on the what you done, like what you can do, like what you based on your skills. what you can do on during the interview what you can bring to the company what so yeah so according to you but like what you have seen is that yeah. if you have good skill set if you are if you have done good in the interview uh, your uh, back graduation background doesn't matter you will get a decent salary right yeah okay shrikant uh, thank you so much for giving your time it was a lovely meeting with you and i hope people will learn a lot from your experience so yeah thank you so much thank you so much having me here